So first I would like to start my speech saying that Tamil Nadu has seen a record rainfall. This happens the third time in this last 200 years. The rainfall was similar to 2015, but because of the efficient steps taken by my Chief Minister, Sir M.K. Stalin, we have ensured the damage was very limited. And in fact, sir, the Tamil Nadu government has asked the Finance Minister for a restoration of the amount for 3,554.88 crores, which we are yet to receive. I take this opportunity to stress upon this, and same time also to remind our BJP friends and also the Prime Minister, when some similar incident took place in 2017 in Gujarat, the floods came. Within three days, 500 crores was released for Gujarat. Sir, Tamil Nadu is also part of India. I appreciate Gujarat's the way Gujarat got the funds. We should also get similar funds, sir. It will be very appreciable, sir. Similarly, sir, I also heard upon the finance minister, sir, to say stress upon the there's a due of 4,943 crores of GST uh, pending for states. And as you know, sir, states are losing their share with the new GST formula. I will urge upon the finance minister to release the funds at the earliest, sir. Sir, in the second batch of demands for supplementary grants, sir, nearly 3.73 lakh crores has been sought by the finance minister, sir. The house is definitely going to pass it. Sir, there are certain discrepancies or certain things, anomalies, which I like to point out. Sir, after much regrettable suspension, MP lad funds is back, sir. But the amount which is going, going, going to be given is only 1,153 crores, sir. I'm sure all the members will agree that we are a severe loss of face to our constituents. So for 750 members, 1,153 crores is very, very little, sir. I urge upon the finance minister to increase the uh, funds for uh, uh, MP lads, sir. And similarly, sir, out of the 3 lakh 73 crores, 73 lakh crores, the finance minister has requested for 22,000 crores for Mandrega. We can once again, sir, because of the COVID, long pending COVID, sir, the unemployment rate has increased. Several young youth are being jobless and are suffering, sir. Sir, and basically, if you see, sir, the uh, latest available results of the quarterly periodic labor survey conducted by, by the Ministry of Statistics and Programming Implementation show that um, unemployment rate in urban India was a hevel eye at 9.4% in January, March, January, March 2021 quarter, sir. It also showed that 23% of the urban youth in the age of 15 to 29 are remaining unemployed. So this is a very serious matter, sir. I'm sure the finance minister should take more effort. I'm sure in the coming budget, she'll address this issue much more wisely, sir. So, if the 3,73,000 crores, which the lack crores, the finance minister thought, 22,000 crores for Mandreka. Sir, but uh, hoping 64,000 crores is for Air India. So one wonders, yes, a commitment made to Tata's that Air India will be handed over debt free. So, so Tata's are taking a wonder bid for 18,000 crores. A secrecy claim, who's the second bidder, who's the third bidder, we don't know. Is that secret as the PM cash funds? We all want to know who are the other bidders. And only what we read from the newspaper, sir, it claims that the other bidder was spice jet, and one wonders where they had money because already the courts are, are uh, putting the spice jet in the bench saying that they have to wind up the companies because they are not paid up the creditors. But sir, who was the... Sir, I'm talking. Wait. Nine, nine. Oh. If you want to give it to me, give it to me. <laughs> sir, 18, out of the 18,000 crores, sir, Tata's is paying only 2,700 crores as cash. Yeah. The remaining 15,000 crores has been got taken up as absorbed as debt. And the government of India is giving 68,000 crores to wipe out all the debt. Sir, Rishikad, Rishikad Dubeji has been always stuck in the memory loop. So it's seven and a half years since your BJP government is ruling the country. You still want to go to 2004, 2011. Why can't you start? We are in 2021 and the end of it. Sir, every time you want to start blaming from Jaharal Nehru to Indira Gandhi to Manmogan Singh, when are you going to own your responsibility? <laughs> In seven and a half years, you could not turn a company around or you made it worse. So, it's a question. I'm not asking this question. Uh, any common man 
with limited knowledge of economics might ask this question. When you are interested in putting 68,000 crores, why can't you put the remaining 18,000 crores and take the company and keep it running profitably? This is our national jewel. Why can't we do it, sir? Sir, a lot of doubts linger in the mind. Every time I enter the parliament, I see the 20,000 crore Central Vista project done by the Tatas. I do not know what is the understanding. Whether probably even this 2,700 crores is coming from the government to the Tatas and Tatas are paying it the other way. Sir, it's just a doubt. As, as a common man, as a common man, I'm just asking. Sir, if I'm right, a lot of questions will be raised. No one stays in the government permanently. Everyone changes. And everyone changes. These laws will come to question. Sir, if a Tatas are the buyer, they have a past history of buying uh, VSNL. And even the VSNL, sir, if I remember correct, they're supposed to hand over the excess land to the government. I don't know, no, the finance minister can answer, or if she wishes to, not to answer, but whether the excess land which was part of VSNL, which they have closed and sold it for a profit, will it come back to the government or not? Sir, again, sir, Mr. Rishikant Dubey had spoken much about the fuel pricing. I'm glad they have no heart, the guts to talk about fuel price because they are reduced 10 rupees. After how many years of us shouting that you was, please reduce the cess, please reduce this, people are suffering. Sir, now they are ready to address the elephant in the room. Sir, what is the pro 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 problem with you? Sir, today you made lovely advertisements saying that Prime Minister Modi is wiping the tears of the poor village woman, she not use wood and they cry with smoke. Now give your subsidies, give your entitlement for subsidized LPGs. And all of us believe the Prime Minister and including myself, I gave it my, uh, so whatever subsidy we gave it up and went for commercial or for gas cylinders. Sir, that time it was 490 rupees. Today, a domestic gas cylinder cost 915 rupees. Yeah. Earlier, sir, when cooking, only the, fa the family, the lady was crying. Now the entire family is crying. Sir, the commercial gas has gone to 2,234 rupees. Sir, and they are giving uh, subsidy, sir, 162 rupees is in 10 installments. Sorry, in 12 installments. Great, sir. So are giving installment 12 rupees a month. But the price has gone to 953 rupees. Sir, minister, sir, I just started. Sir. I just started. I'm the only speaker, sir. I'm the only speaker. Only speaker. So, Minister of State for Finance, Pankaj Choudhury, has stated that the collection from the levy of central excise duty on petrol and diesel increased from 1.78 lakh crores in 2019-20 to 3.72 lakh crores in 2020-21. This is April 22, April, uh, by March, April 2022, March 20. The total amount of tax given to state governments for the corpus collector under the central excise duty for the year 2020-21 is only 19,973 crores. The remaining money went to the center. So this is all the questions I'm not asking, sir. The common man is asking. Why can't you reduce the price? Sir, there's one more demon which we have to see, sir. So the finance minister is here. She brought the bill of the, the government, the insolvency in the bankruptcy code will solve the NPA crisis and will also address the disease. But we see, sir, a major fraud is happening in the disguise of the bankruptcy code, sir. Sir, large, large of public money, bank money is being written off. Sir, if you take a list, it has come, I can say, I'm is aware. Sir, the air cuts which the buyer companies are getting is unbelievable. Bush and Power, sir, 50% uh, air cut received by JSW, Tata Steel, uh, J Steel and Tata Steel, sir. Alok Industries, sir, was a COC accepted a bid by Reliance Industries for air cut was 83%. Sir, and similarly, if you go on, there are so many, sir, I can say, say AG, ABG shipyard, 80%, sir, and uh, Monarch is part, sir, 70%, sir. And so on, so many uh, companies are going for the bank, uh, bankruptcy insolvency, sir. Sir, the finance minister earlier made a comment, sir. I would like to remind her about the comment, sir. Sir, 
the committee of creditors take a decision and it's all based on the percentage of the loan they are given to the companies when they are taking the company it's mostly the banks so i wonder how can banks give a haircut of 70% 80% to their in a such a situation does the bank chairman has so much of power or is it phone banking sir are they getting a phone call from someone to accept to these kind of banking sir and irony sir i should say sir most of these companies are being bought by their same owners in a different name basically they are writing off their complete debt and getting the companies back sir and one of the industries is sir it's seva industries sir he gets nearly 95% haircuts and it so it's happened the ncl the nclt <coughs> itself asks how can the bank get take a such a serious haircut and you won't believe sir the buyer who had given the offer to the company was none other and the person sivas father he himself buys the company back yes, sir and the irony is that sir he has ready agreed to pay 5 crores and the remaining amount in 6 months sir so this is a kind of things happening sir i'm sure we did what you did in a good intention is being misused sir this will come to haunt you sir a farmer when he takes a loan he doesn't he doesn't get 95% haircut not even 10% haircut when children parents take loans for education they don't get any haircuts the bank doesn't write off their loans but sir their photographs are put in public they are insulted and most of the farmers commit suicide sir but these people this government seeming seems to be patting the rich not patting pampering the rich sir and only five or six of them where i can count by i can count with my fingers only though they are getting their co companies exempted from these this national bankruptcy courts sir. sir i can also say sir there's another group called sir video con industry sir sir 64838 crores was the amount sir but the vedanta group took the company for 2962 crores so i can give on keeping a list of so many other companies which are there kindly sir, conclude non concluding sir mind the only speaker sir mm -hmm. all i am asking sir when these banks are giving a haircut to these companies who is eventually paying it the banks are paying it how does the bank pay is the public money isn't this a big scam sir the very idea is that to save the company but you're killing our public banks so i think the time has come for the finance minister to look into it so basically see if a father of the person who's going insolvent is able to buy the company what is the enforcement department doing under your wing are you encouraging it sir or is it phone banking and to top it all sir consultants have come and consultants are not ordinary consultants sir they are all raja gurus who are all sitting in the board of directors of rbi they have guru associates who see see all these companies they are the consultants and they are controlling they are having hand in glove with the banks i don't know what is happening sir <laughs> Of course, yes. I'm talking about Mr. Guru Murthy only. <laughs> yes, sir. Sir, I'm finishing. I'm winding up. Sir, yes. One, one more. Hey, speaker. No, I'm the so only speaker. So kindly conclude. No, no, I'm the only speaker. You are the only speaker. Yeah. Okay, no uh, problem. So, sir, in this situation, sir, I'm warning the government as a public when I see, when I'm not getting as an individual, as a student, as a farmer, I'm not getting any haircuts. I'm not getting any. Sir, if you see this, sir. the kind of companies which have got their thing you can say vijay malya is a saint because vijay malya borrowed 5000 crores the banks wanted 9000 crores without air cut but the prime minister said they got 14000 crores of vijay malya he has paid all the money <laughs> yeah in fact three times over but these company companies are taken over by the previous owners in different different in different disguises sir i'm bringing this point to the finance minister's view I know sometimes we do something in good intentions, but these intentions are being manipulated. So when the things are manipulated, sir, in English it's simply called corruption.
Thank you. Thank sir, you. I'm just, I'm just cutting. Sir, concluding. It's simply called corruption. A large scale corruption is taking place. And I wonder when will the finance minister will wake up to see this, ensure that the public money in the banks are not taken away or given away to the rich. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.